Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem. Now we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to square root of 16, square root of 8. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So you are going to solve this by applying two methods. Let's apply two methods here. Let's start with method 1. In this case, we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to square root of 16, then square root of 8. So the first thing is to square both signs so that we eliminate the first square root sign. So let's eliminate this square root sign so that here we have 64 raised to the power of x raised to power 2. This is equal to 16 multiplied by square root of 8. The next step is that 64 is to the power of x raised to power 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to power m, which we can express as a raised to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 64 raised to the power of 2x, this is equal to 16, multiplied by square root of 8. The next step is to square again both signs. And this implies that, now here we have 64 raised to the power of, this is 2x times 2, so this becomes 4x, this is equal to, now you find that 16 times square root of 8 raised to the power of 2, this is in the form of, this is in the form of a, b raised to the power of n, this, now 16 times square root of 8 raised to the power of 2, this is in the form of a times b raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 64 raised to the power of 4x. This is equal to, now here we have 16 raised to the power of 2 times, now let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have 8. We can express, here we can express 64. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6. And you can express 16. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. And here we have 8. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of 4x. This is equal to, now 16 is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2, then multiplying by 2 to the power of 3. So here we have 2 to the power of 6. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6 times 4x. This is equal to 24x. Remember this is 6 times 4x. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2. This is 8. Then times 2 to the power of 3. You find that 2 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 24x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 8 plus 3. Now we have 2 to the power of 24x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 8 plus 3. So this is 2 to the power of 24x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 8 plus 3. This is equal to 11. Since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. That means that exponent n is equal to m. And this implies that 24x, this is equal to 11. So let's divide both signs by 24. So that now, the value of x is equal to 
11 over 24. So let's check method 2 here. Let's check method 2 here. Remember we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 8. Now, we can express, remember if you have square root of a, this is the same thing as a to the power of half. So applying this property, then we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now here we have 16 raised to the power of half, then multiplying by, now we have 8 here. Remember this is 8 raised to the power of half then least to the power of half. Remember here, we can express 16 basically as 2 to the power of 4. And here we have 8. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now, 2 to the power of 4 multiplying by half. And then we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of a half times a half, this is 1 over 4. Therefore, here, let's, let's, let's simplify here. We have 4 times a half, so this is equal to 2. So this implies we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 times 1 over 4. So this is 2 raised to the power of 3 over 4. And you find that here, we can express 64 basically as 2 to the power of 6. So we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 4. 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 4. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2. This is 2 plus 3 over 4. Remember 2 is a whole number, so this is over 1. So we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is equal to now, here we have 2, the LCM here is 4, 4 divided by 1, this is 4 times 2, this is 8, then plus 4 divided by 4, this is 1 times 3, this is 3. And then now, here we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of x, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 8 plus 3, this is 11 over 4. Now, from here. Now we have 2 to the power of 6 raised to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 6 times x. This is 6x. Then this is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 4. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m, then exponent n is equal to m. Therefore, from here, we have 6x, this is equal to 11 over 4. So the next step is to multiply both signs by 4, here by 4. So that now, if you simplify here, 6x times 4, this is 24x, then this is equal to 11. So let's divide both signs by 24 and also here by 24, so that now x is equal to 11 over 24. So this is x by applying method 2, method 2. So both method 1 and method 2 provides us with the same, same solution here, which is 11 over 24. So this is the solution to this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps like this problem?
Now we have x is equal to 11 over 24. We are applying method 2. And this implies that both method 1 and method 2 provides us with the same, same solution here. So let's verify. Let's verify. We have, if you recall here, we have 64 raised to the power of x. This is equal to square root of 16 times square root of 8. Let's substitute x here so that we have 64 raised to the power of 11 over 24. This is equal to 16. Remember this is 16 raised to the power of half, then times 8. This is the same thing as 8 raised to the power of half here, raised to the power of half. So we can express 64. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6. Then we can express 16. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. And remember 8. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. Let's substitute this. So we have 2 to the power of 6. Multiplied by 11 over 24. This is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Multiplied by half. Then times 2 to the power of 3. Multiplied by. Now here we have a half times a half. This is 1 over 4. So here we have. Let's simplify here. Now. 24 divided by 6, this is the same thing as 4. So we have 2 raised to the power of 11 over 4. This is equal to, now here we have 4 divided by 2. This is 2, so this is 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 4. Here we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 over 4. Now this part here, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies that on the left hand side we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 over 4. And we find that 2 is the whole number, so this is over 1. So here we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This is equal to 2. The LCM here is 4. So we have 4 divided by 1. This is 4 times 2. This is 8. Then plus 4 divided by 4. This is 1 times 3. This is 3. So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4. This is equal to 2 to the power of 8 plus 3. This is 11 over 4. So the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of x which is 11 of that is 11 over 24 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video